The writer of the letter to the Hebrews writes these words in chapter 12. Therefore, since we have so great a cloud of witnesses surrounding us, let us also lay aside every encumbrance and the sin which so easily entangles us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. We often hear this life referred to as a long-distance race, a race requiring endurance, and it is. And we often hear things like it's important to go the extra mile. And that's even biblical advice. Jesus would tell us to go that extra mile, to put forth that extra effort. But I would tell you that there's something that is equally, if not more important. And that is you cannot go the extra mile until you have started the race, until you've gone the first mile. If you talk to joggers or long distance runners, they'll often tell you that the second mile or third or fourth mile is not the hardest. Often the hardest mile is the first one that you run. I know that when we walk, Judy and I take a walk through the neighborhood, we generally walk several miles. And if there is a point at which I'm going to be able to talk myself out of it, it's before I open the front door and step out onto the driveway. Taking the first step is the hardest. Once we get going, momentum has a tendency to help carry you along. And that's the way life is. We need to be willing to take the first step, and that's not always easy. Life is full of challenges and problems, issues. And even if you could solve all of your problems and issues and challenges today, they would just be new next week again. We constantly have challenges. We constantly have to put one foot in front of the other. Take the next step. And that sometimes is difficult. Martin Luther King said that faith is taking the first step even when you cannot see the whole staircase. I would tell you that that is life. It's hard to step out there, to start the path that we must walk on. But it's important. We need to take the first step. We need to make sure that we have aligned ourselves with Christ first. Because once we start that life, the momentum, the others that are walking the path with us, all of those things will help to encourage us. I love the quote that is on this picture. Sometimes the smallest step in the right direction ends up being the biggest step of your life. Tiptoe if you must, but take the first step. Good advice. Take the first step. Start. You cannot go the second mile. You cannot finish the race unless you start the race first. Let's make sure we've started, and then let's make sure we continue to put one foot in front of the other as we continue in this life that requires both patience and endurance. Thank you for listening.